Hi there. My name is Rohan Chaudhary. I used to be an average 19 year old student scoring average marks in my exams. I had an average life with normal friends and less successful relationships. This used to be my honest self and somewhere your life might be the same too. So what makes me different? What changed me? The answer is my change mentality and attitude. 80% of young adults wish to have an amazing life. They dream of having a big apartment, maybe even a nice car. But their dreams seem to end there and there itself. There is no action towards their dreams. They spend hours scrolling through online shopping websites, social media, and games. One of these young adults might be you, and so was I a few months ago. It's easier to chill on your couch, watching series, eating and sleeping all day, isn't it? But just give yourself a moment and think about yourself, your life. Are your priorities set and are they reasonable? This is the summary of minimalism and how it will help you get out of your mess you're presently in. Intentionally getting rid of things which you don't use and things which are spoiling you, prioritizing what is important to you and investing maximum time working to achieve it is called as minimalism. I know it's much easier to say yes to non-essential things, to accept things into our life than it is to turn them away. Some of you may find this concept interesting, others won't give a damn, but it doesn't matter because the concept minimalism it resonated with me. For years, I thought there was only one path to follow going to school then college acquiring a job through campus placements trying to go up that ladder and earn more money buying a nice house or a car and just keep doing the similar in an endless cycle but life presented me with another way and it just felt right i didn't have to wait for this imaginative future to happen to be happy i knew i can be happy at this very moment by keeping things simple if you have food water and shelter you already have enough if you have one real friend that's enough and i know i have enough there are three ways by which you can minimize your life decide what's important prioritize what is really important for you this includes the stuff you love things that bring joy to you note that this does not include the things that messed you up at the first place decide what is not important You might discover that you have been focusing on wrong priorities since a long time which led you to waste your time. And yes, I am pretending to casually roll over in my sleep for the camera. Question yourself constantly if you are allocating your time, money and attention wisely. Don't mind my hair please. It's lockdown time and no salons are open. I bet you know how I feel. There are five ways by which we can make minimalism more enjoyable. Include more fun activities in your day, things that you love to do, like cooking, painting, drawing, traveling, etc. Doesn't matter what you do to have fun or however childish it sounds, do it because you love to do it. Try new things when you start feeling that you are repeating things every day. This way, you keep making every day new and interesting for yourself. Now is the moment to find time for the one thing you always wished to do but couldn't because of some reason. Keep a journal and write down how your day was, how you feel, any negative and positive emotions you are going through, short-term goals and express gratitude towards the things you have in your life. I would suggest you guys to bake something. I myself am not a big fan of baking, but whenever I do, it gives me a sense of joy and an excuse to escape from my tight schedule. Check this out. My sister just sent me the recipe for a personalized muff cake. This is going to be fun.
am headed outside right now to buy some essentials for my home and at this time we would like to talk about our indian covid 19 situation those of you who are watching my video know that i talk about minimalism and how we shouldn't spend money unnecessarily we know how bad the situation has become thousands of workers and unemployed laborers are walking on highways headed nowhere in this bright summer sun we all come from financially stable families and the maximum we can do for helping such unprivileged people is provide them with some food and water or you can even donate to some covid-19 relief fund it's okay if you are not financially stable if you are not able to give money or something but if you can help then please do and don't get out of your house unnecessarily and please please help your mom with her chores always remember that happiness is not a big apartment a nice car or fancy things but it's you doing the work you love keeping yourself fit by regularly working out spending time with your loved ones and helping the needy all it takes is to get up from that couch and start prioritizing your life this video is not only for the young adults but is for everyone people think that at a certain age fate takes control over your life and you have to go with it it's not true you can change your life at any moment at any age of your life because people on their deathbed never talk about things they regret doing but always talk about the things they regret not doing but hey look on the bright side you can always have a new beginning to your life just keep trying Thank you for watching. 